Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're talking about stripped threads. I bet at home you've been tightening a screw and you felt the torque build up and it went from righty tighty to righty loosey. That's what happens when you strip the threads. And that's a problem at home, but it's an even bigger problem in an industrial setting where we're making expensive parts and causing expensive problems. So the test we're gonna run today is we're gonna test different configurations of the depth of our thread engagement. We got a piece of 6160 aluminum and we've got a steel block and a stack of washers and we're gonna keep adding washers until the thread engagement gets low enough where it rips the thread out, all right? And there's gonna be something really important with the design criteria with when we get to that threshold point. So let's check it out. So the first test, we have our M10 bolt with one washer and we've got a full 25 millimeters of thread engagement. We're gonna to do torque to failure, see what happens. So there's our broken bolt, right? Cracked and split that bolt. All right, we'll go to the next hole. All right, that one stripped a thread. How many washers we got now? This is seven washers. All right, now we only have that much thread engagement. Okay, torque's dropped off to 60. That one's still got a thread stuck in there we go. <laughs> and then we'll add eight washers total and we'll see how bad we can get here. Now we only have this much thread engagement into our part. So there's our thread stuck in there. <laughs> All right, okay, there's full thread engagement all the way to not nearly enough thread engagement. Let's take a look at the torque versus angle curves and figure out where we need to be with this bolt in this part. All right, so we pulled up the torque versus angle curves from that failure test, and we can see two very distinct groups. We have the blue group, which is where we actually fractured the bolt with a tensile fracture, and the red group is where the thread stripped. So remember, we were taking a little bit of thread engagement off after each consecutive run. Actually, those washers are three millimeters thick, and we started with 25 millimeters of thread engagement, so you can figure out exactly the threshold of what we had in each run. But you can see the curve as it, when the bolt breaks, it comes up and it rolls over, and we have this really long plastic deformation area where we're stretching and snapping that bolt. When the thread strips, it has a much shorter and more rapid failure. That is the sheer strength of the aluminum threads ripping out due to the preload that we're generating during tightening. And the, the value goes down and down and down the less and the less thread engagement that we have. So now that we see the results, let's talk about what it means for the design of our bolted joint. All right, so when we turn things from righty tighty to righty loosey, that means we've stripped the threads and we need to improve our bolted joint design so we have enough integrity to build things in production so they'll last when they get out in the field. All right, we'll see you next time.